During 2019, we realized at the end of 2019 when COVID hit us, the whole world was kind of talking about supply chains. And we realized that supply chains have been transforming during the recent past. There's a lot of rich data sources that people are leveraging to take decisions in supply chains and logistics. And people were kind of migrating from offline decision making to online decision making. At that point in time, we thought that if one week program, it just doesn't do justice in terms of our delivery and executive education. And we said that, can we offer as an as a institute a comprehensive program in supply chain and logistics? Supply chains make or break companies and those great ideas there. More so during COVID times when prime ministers and presidents of many countries were using terms like supply chain disruption and uh, how uh, they have ripple effects in the entire uh, economy. Through this program, uh, we strongly believe that supply chain professionals uh, would be gearing up for a leadership positions uh, in their uh, organizations and uh, play a very crucial role in the success story of uh, their firm. Traditional supply chains have often been working in silos and these silos have rarely been interacting with each other in the past. However, if you look at the new age technologies, many of the advancements like IoT devices and various kinds of sensors that are installed at various places in the supply chain networks and even on products are generating vast amount of data. It is important to capitalize on this data using AI and ML tools on which this program strongly focuses as well. This curriculum becomes very important to grow the next leaders who will be taking up responsibilities to improve the supply chain and bring India to an age of where it can take off into the next generation of advanced economy. How do you manage risk in supply chains? How do you manage inventory in supply chains? How do you really look at different modes of transport? How do you optimize the mode? How do you really figure out how much inventory position in the network? How do you design your network? How do you optimize it? These questions are always there, but the way of thinking and the fresh look at these problems have changed because of availability of new data sources. And this program exactly targets all the executives who have a passion towards this kind of a learning, this kind of a method and taking a comprehensive look in the supply chains. I found the curriculum quite exhaustive each week we were required to thoroughly examine a case study. The online classes gave us an opportunity to discuss the business model threadbare. So I found uh, the uh, coverage uh, and the relevance of topics very high. Why this program was very helpful was because it gave you a practical experience and practical knowledge as per the case studies. We diagnosed all the solutions as per the case studies and learned various modules of supply chain management. The newer ideas like uh, IOTs, Industry 4.0, the role blockchains or even uh, earlier how RFIDs uh, help change uh, uh, supply chain field. So definitely there are elements on that uh, front uh, also. Now I am a better project manager at my organization and leading this my projects from end to end which includes the supply management role as well. So the overview given by this program to me and my knowledge on supply chain has gained a tremendous depth. The curriculum was very very relevant in current context of uh, disruptions across supply chains and uh, with geopolitical situations countries looking at alternate source of supplies. The course will also focus on optimization, modeling and simulation of supply chain networks. This will help the participants design the best supply chain network for their context. I learned a new thing, humanitarian logistics, which was very new to me and I was totally unaware of, about this uh, logistics part. Before the COVID times, automation was only meant for developed countries. But now we see that with automation, even developing countries can benefit and particularly mitigating all the variabilities, especially looking at the labor shortages. In particular, during these disruptions, your demand goes multiple times, your supply reduces by multiple times. How do you match demand with supply? But these are the aspects that the senior leadership should really get into. And I hope this program will benefit them and take them further.